Rajuni Rangashi, Dunga Juni Sindumang, Dunga Mabra Nijume, Tere Simchu, Temple of Nay. Oh, that is the saying. The Rajuni Rangashi means the we have the, the cause of the war, means happiness and peace. Uh, especially the way you means you cause it, uh, mainly the future long lasting cause <coughs> and, uh, of peace and happiness, etc. Or uh, those kind of cause, uh, and, uh, uh, rangashik, the way you know, rangashik, sometimes we have not too much, not too many happen. The way you know, rangashik. Dunga juni shindu man means the dunga, the cause of suffering. Oh, and then it's the Shindu monk, so many. That means suffering, or suffering of samsara, for example, in this life, especially in the future life, cause of suffering, that we make all kinds of evil, negative karma. So therefore, every day, oh, and then, uh, mental, body, speech, and all <coughs> kinds of evil, negative karma created. So therefore, Dunga Juni Shindu monk, Cause of Dunga suffering, Shindu Mang. Uh, uh, so, therefore, when you look like a uh, cause of the uh, suffering, and then looking uh, uh, so many, then full of su- cause of suffering, uh, and then cause of the happiness, and then very uh, rare. Although, yet, Although without Dunga or suffering, without the suffering or the problem, they will not rise a Ninjung. Ninjung is a special kind of thought of renunciation. Thought of renunciation or wanting to free wanting to liberate from something, wanting to uh, obtaining higher uh, goal or peace or happiness, everlasting peace or higher than uh, highest uh, uh, permanent goal or uh, nirvana or enlightenment, etc. All of these uh, and, uh, all of these uh, first are uh, requires to in order to have those you have to uh, accumulate, practice, cause of those. The cause of those in order to practice, uh, <coughs> seriously, first you have to have a uh, or thought of renunciation. You are bothered by something. You are uh, thinking, uh, seeing all kinds of misery, suffering, problem, and the, the causes, etc. When you see this clearly, then you have really wanting to solution, everlasting peace, and happiness, all like those things. So therefore, then it actually comes religious or seeking religious goal, spiritual goal, actually truly true spiritual goal. Or, <coughs> but if you don't have ninju or thought of renunciation, uh, Oh, and then everything looks like fine. <laughs> and there's nothing problem. Oh, okay. So then you do all kind of strange things, and then you don't have any looking or seeking any kind of spiritual goal. Oh, and then even if you do something religious practice, spiritual goal, they will be very, very weak. Oh, oh, oh weak. And then, oh, almost like up to from here, uh, not the bottom. So therefore, from the heart will not rise it. So therefore, in that sense, there is simchu temperance, dunga mebra ninjumi, there is simchu temperance, Mr. Shanta Deva say, simchu, you, you mind, that they're talking, he is talking to oneself. Shanta Deva is a great, great Buddhist meditator, practitioner, or the Mahayana so, practitioner. So he was or sometimes meditating, thinking, and sometimes telling to his own mind. But there is same temperance. Your mind should be 
be firm uh, uh, to the situation of the Missouri sovereign and the thought of rising, thought of renunciation. So therefore, this is the sometimes all called in the Lamrim and the many Chanda Deva also called Dunga Sabring, Samsadik Misuri Sabring, full of Sabring, but they are by this Sabring, then if we have <coughs> to upset and getting frustrated, uh, getting angry, and, uh, nothing to thinking to uh, solving the problem or something like that, and that is the wasting thing. But the only suffering one have, we can utilize whatever problem, suffering, or all kind of unpleasant misery, suffering. And then, then that suffering creates the nature of suffering, how bad it is, how serious it is, and all the nature of suffering, all the unevilness creates it. Or fully, or thinking, analyze. That's called meditation, called or meditation on suffering, truth of suffering. Buddha also taught first, or in order to introduce spiritual goal, spiritual teaching, he want to teach any or before anything teaching first, he talked about truth of suffering. Or then after that, where they are coming, or the cause of suffering, etc. And then from those, then. Well, then when you realize the suffering, seriousness of suffering, and the cause of that, when you recognize, then you have beginning or then renunciation, wanting to get rid of those, how to get rid of what are the methods, who can help me, what is the main method, etc., and the, these things will come seriously. Otherwise, you know, or no spiritual uh, interest that or no seeking for a future of peace and happiness, just temporary, or in, right in front, in enjoyment, happiness, and sensual pleasure, and all these, these things, what we are all worldly, or worldly things, you know, or, you know, or the seeking, you know, or the temporary sensual pleasure, pleasure of by eating, drinking, or you know, touching, and seeing, and all these kind of various kind of those things, this life is nothing to consider in the future. So therefore, uh, do not go back payments. Payments, the benefit of the uh, meditation on suffering. That means meditation on suffering doesn't mean meditate on suffering. Sometimes people think meditation means not to think. Or maybe think of suffering, 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 suffering. <laughs> <laughs> on the meditation on the suffering, how you meditate suffering? Oh, there is suffering, suffering, suffering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that will not get anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, <laughs> so therefore, there is suffering, the truth of suffering, the truth of suffering, or suffering of the, and uh, then the pain of suffering or in the cause of those impermanent nature, or then all those kind of impurity, the inner mental and the body, suffering of birth, aging, death, sickness, all these undesirable things happen, desirable things all the time, in, or then <coughs> coming in, or like pouring like in the rain, like this, all the time we have, all the time wanting to some peace and happiness, wonderful enjoyment, something. Uh, but while you are seeking that, all oh, negatively coming to undesirable things, <coughs> concentration. One of these undesirable things is nothing to special kind of to solution, but they you know, getting angry, concentrating, and try to maybe on you know, in order to solve that to beat somebody else, <laughs> and then doing all kind of strange things happen. Or that do not go back, really, to realize the truth of suffering. Truth of suffering and understand what is the nature of that and how serious, how bad, and many, many different way to suffering. For example, all people who are sick, or they, they think before you go to seriously to go to see doctor, 
Oh, seriously, taking hard, hard, harsh medical treatment, taking. Before you're taking that, you have to first see how serious this sickness, disease, or oh, and then deep and the or seriousness you or the concentrating or thinking or analyzing. So therefore do not go is meditating something means to analyze, examine, understanding true nature of that under you or oh, in your mind convincing way to under that oh, suffering. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, that is the uh, when you have and the result of that then looking cause and method to solve and uh, everlasting freedom from that <coughs> suffering etc. So therefore that is the uh, uh, the when you rise that is the uh, thought of renunciation also like that way. So therefore uh Chandadeva says the uh, in jana in this world, samsara. Samsara you know, or everybody, is in, eh? many of you know already, or, or, or some of you may not know, samsara is the, the existing in worldly existing, life after life, by one's own mental delusions, karma, circling life, or this or existing, or this is samsara. Or the, in the samsara, as long as you be in samsara, that means being exist by power of one's own mental delusions, and karma, virtuous or non-virtuous karma, by those two, on oneself go up under this power, you have no one's own freedom, liberation. What do you want to, uh, what do you long, what do you want to, how long you want to stay, you have no control. Uh, <coughs> when you die, you have no control. After that, where are you going? Uh, Maybe you want to nice place, what they, all those kind of things or something. Uh, anyway, uh, all these kind of uh, <coughs> or the uh, without one set uh, freedom, independent by like carrying a uh, little small feather by powerful winds. Sometimes carry this way, sometimes carry that way, sometimes carry downward, sometimes lift up. So everywhere, but itself has no real independent direction, independent freedom where you go. But this is some sort of life, or, or some sort of life, in pure life, uh, like that way. In this life even, so many from young age, if you stay in longer, and so many experiences, after that also where you go, what kind of life is taking, you have no idea. So therefore all of these are the... <coughs> Oh, no, no. Oh, all this situation, being exist in that situation, is suffering. Buddha says that is suffering, truth of suffering. If you don't want to be in that kind of situation, then there should be a cause. Without a cause, and then you cannot be in this situation. Each cause. The cause of suffering is then different, many, many causes. Some have more problems, some have less, <coughs> et cetera. Same way, cause, heavy, or light, et cetera, or negative karma. Well, especially sufferings are, or undesirable things are caused by evil karma. Desirable things, nice things, even some sort of world, sometimes happy, pleasant, with just a few times here and there, enjoyment, and respect, the honor, the you know, wealth, and all these some little things you have, all those are result of virtues, good uh, matters, virtues. Even you are not perfectly enlightened, or not permanent cessation, are not achieved, but temporary happiness also result of uh, good karma. So therefore, <coughs> <coughs> So therefore, uh, that kind of uh, situation, whole uh, this impure life, samsaric life, uh, is the itself miserable or called Buddha called as, as suffering. And then it's the explaining through those suffering so much things in the teaching or this uh, as taught Buddha don't want to you worry and just merely that. 
uh, making miserable, more miserable. <laughs> it's not like that. That purpose to understand, to analyze, to examine uh, being in the samsaric world, existing itself is miserable, suffering. So therefore, first to think, to analyze, examine, know. After you knowing that, then you have and then looking and think cause of suffering and the truth of cause in his thought like that. Right? That when you have then the truth of cessation means ceasing, permanently cease this suffering, rebirth, on and then all this kind of whole samsaric uh, lifestyle is permanently cease. When you that cease, then that person achieves according to Buddha Nirvana or even highest type of the you know, nirvana is the Buddhahood, you know, achieved. You know, Queen Satanist, all falls completely exhausted. There's nothing false, mental, physical, any involved, any false. And the Yundai Queen them, all kind of Yundan, good quality, knowledge, wisdom, compassion, love, or you know, perfect in the purity, or all, all kind of things achieved that time. So therefore, or for that purpose, do not come meditation and or meditation on the fabric. So that is the so therefore here there were you Rangashik in this world, there were you cause of dewa, very, very rare, because the cause of dewa means virtues, wholesome karma, body, speech, mental karma. Usually we don't do even if you do something looks like looks like prayer or meditation or recitation or doing something, actually wants our selfish purpose. To do something by this, one self something. Huh? Uh, that is the, uh, uh, to even to give somebody or uh, uh, something, or uh, mouthful of food, or, or maybe let's say, let's say, or uh, maybe ten dollars give them. Expecting I will get later ten hundred dollars. I'm <laughs> joking. Anyway, uh, there, there's, in the world, in the world, we have wholesome, real wholesome karma. I see, typical to accumulate. So therefore, <coughs> uh, even karma looks like wholesome, also not wholesome. And unwholesome karma, selfish, and, and then out of selfish, out of attachment, hatred, jealousy, etc. Through these mental or the delusions create so much karma, body, action, speech. So therefore, there is no much cause of peace, happiness. So therefore, rank up is sometimes very pure, good karma we may make. They were doing rankashik. Do not do the Shindu mouse, the Shindu man, or the cause of misery suffering is so many. Every moment, every do thinking and you know, all, to oneself, how selfish way to thinking all kind of thing, how to on any uh, worldly activity, body, speech, mental action. This is a countless uh, sometimes out of attachment, sometimes out of anger, sometimes hate, jealousy, or sometimes out of conceitness, or the, this kind of thing on the mental, or, or and all kind of these uh, result of that many many activities. So, do not you shindu man. Shindu man means we have short life, but we are so, our human mind kind of intelligent, but not utilized properly, so they able to do evil things. We are very expert. Expert. Every day you can, if they are physically seeable, you can every day mountain of the cause of suffering, you can create it. So therefore, do not you need to mount. Yet, you know, uh, when you see this doing suffering in this world, the cause of suffering, how much they are, and when you see this, the truth of this cause and effect together, you know, in, this, in the samsara, in this world, so many are problems. The worst down hell, up to human, up to devas, all these kind of things. You know, uh, uh, problems, when you see the cause and effect relation through meditation, 
then that is the that kind of meditation produces the ninjung. Ninjung means or never jung means thought of renunciation, renunciation, renouncing this kind of existing, completely other side of this kind of exist. That means nirvana or permanent emancipation or permanent Lubru Meshona, if you uh, catch the temporarily or suddenly the you know, fire and come, you saw Jomba, new to doctor tell you, Yime. Of course, generally, uh, it is the you saw Jomba, this fire, uh, you know, uh, fire is the you saw Jomba, destroying your body or destroying your temporary life. So this is the maybe burning and then you may or jump this is a destroyer kind of uh, comes. So therefore Luso jump back. So or uh, because the reason we should set the off the fire set off or what do you call? Put out. Put out. <laughs> set off means put put off. Yeah. Stop. Oh, oh. So then my English is completely wrong. Be careful. <laughs> okay, put out. Okay, so therefore, because you have to put out the fire, because it will you so jump bad, it will destroying the your uh, my body and my dress, nice dress and nice body, and uh, or the you don't want to even scarf or something fire scarf or something, right? <coughs> okay, anyway, you so jump bad. Therefore, new to doctor chawa quickly to uh, put out a you know, uh, fire. Yi mems. Yi mems, generally that is the case. But although, well, that, is, that is, should be fire put out is more important because it will be, it is destroying the, your body, so body and you know, so this is dangerous. But yi mems, yi mems. When yi mems is, now they are this is the usual ordinary people do this first. But it's those who master, skillful, or who knows Kebam is a great master, yogi. One who knows who the Kruanimik falls of whole something, not just a little burning cloth or a little burning your body. But whole samsara is suffering and uh, maybe fall down into or uh, any time in you know, hell, etc. There are holes in the samsara is suffering in front of their his mind. That person will not forget or whatever fire will come in. This mainly uh, the purpose of the freedom from for even less than freedom from samsara. That is the, or should be doing. So that is the ni ming shiva ni. Having uh, uh, drop this kind of, uh, uh, the putting out the fire. So tangne having or uh, giving up that, then lose all the mitu pe, lose all the mita pe. Soon do it, young si me bara jiwa la tangsa. So lose all the mita pe. Now, all uh, the what is still is the your aim is the. Not looking, mitam, thumbs your, or what is happening with the cloth, what is happening to your body, a temporary body, this present. This present cloth, body, any time you have to give up. Now give up, or later give up. You can't carry everywhere the, your body and all the time, your dress, nice, how, how nice, it doesn't matter. So, so therefore, you saw the mitam, not looking, not attached to the body. And Lord, with a special kind of effort, not or looking to the one's own temporary body and dress. Or young see member means the to do. Young see member. Do you know young see means reincarnation? No, no, reincarnation. I'm looking a little different. Rebirth. Some sort of rebirth, you know, some sort of rebirth. When you nirvana achieve, arahant, they complete.
completely put put out or the cause of samsara. So once you get there, you you don't need to reborn any kind of samsara. You are completely free from uh, <coughs> free life, in pure life, or like that way. You can see mebams without any kind of rebirth. That rebirth uh, nirvana. Okay, okay. You can see means rebirth again, reborn. Or the you see mebara jila bad hearted. One should be uh, take great effort. At least take great effort for uh, <coughs> the that kind of you know. Or you can see mebara jila jila let means for the purpose of the. With uh, uh, not having the uh, no, no, rebirth, some sort of rebirth. So to for that should be or uh, take effort, bad talent. So requesting you should develop, which is important. The second one is more, much more important. You have still continue to do rather than this. Try to putting out that is you are mainly your mind and temporary. You are attached to the life. You are attached to the life. Condition, possession, cloth, etc., or uh, something like that, way. and you are, or that, or so therefore, main thing is your attitude, your mind, understanding which is important, or then uh, to putting out the temporary or fire, or putting out for or then, uh, permanent, or this permanently free from, or then some sort of misery, putting out. What that is the main you talking that way. You can see maybe the rest of it. Oh, uh, reason why go by shame when you be true. So that that is the uh, the way she taught you be give go by shame when you be true. Reason is the this no give you go by give you misty. Oh, no, uh, the person or that we have the good human or person. Who has great, or one who has knowledge, or uh, master knowledge, and they, or they go about the purpose of that. Their purpose is, is no greater purpose than everlasting freedom from or uh, samsara. There is no any other purpose. Super. Doesn't mean no goba purpose putting out the fire, no goba, no purpose. Doesn't mean there is no greater purpose. Okay? Or that is the way church of Gumba Shemanji. So therefore, you see, remember, you see, remember the children. Or that that is the, uh, this is the advising. Or that first is so far, it's talking is the, or the, or the, or the, or the, and then that that this Shaloka shows top jams. Top means to obtain. Or the object to be obtained. Object to seek to yourself to get or obtain. If there are many, many objects to obtain, right? Or the, so therefore, which is the main principle or object is it? Nyang de, the nirvana, uh, everlasting freedom. That is the uh, our main objective goal. Rather than small things are not the main objective goal. That is mainly showing. Our main, we have many <coughs> objects. So nice food, nice dress, nice house. Uh, uh, not catching fire, not disturbing your <laughs> nice furniture. Uh, Nice hair, etc. All of those are the, they are, they are purpose, they are purpose. But doesn't mean it's a supreme purpose. Uh, so therefore, one of, one of those two, and which is you have to main mind, is other ones most important. If there are choices which you choose, whether this is, it should be choose, something like that. Okay? Alright, that's enough. I can see remember it. What well, that is the uh, first showing that is the to be obtained that, and then the second. This has two right. Then the second is the uh, second showing here is the. You see, maybe the chitra top genus, 
Then now, or most important is the goal is the or to Yangsi Meba without any rebirth, permanent freedom from uh, rebirth. Now, when you say rebirth, you have to know this kind of thing also rebirth, re reborn. Rebirth is the or uh, rebirth. You usually when rebirth in reincarnation, I would like. Uh, the little bit differences is they are looks like similar, but the, the this kind of rebirth every samsaric beings every or everyone is uh, can rebirth after uh uh tama chiwa or chiwa tama chiwa is chiwa and on and birth so therefore after death you born then on the born how you born, your choices, or not your choice, born by karma and mental delusion, what you have created by power of that you born. That is a rebirth. So when you reborn anywhere, you have no uh, uh, idea where you born after this human, animal, or, or whatever, it doesn't have any uh, one's own choices. So that kind of birth is rebirth, it's just merely rebirth. And then in the reincarnation, maybe you were talking about, I don't know, I'm not the expert of English, I'm just stupid way of talking, disjunction. Reincarnation maybe means born, reborn in the uh, world, but condition it has no uh, samsaric condition or uncontrollable needs, but they have the free from uh, that kind of rebirth, but have choose in order to help to other sentient beings, save other sentient beings. So for that purpose, you take willingly with your choice to born as sometimes manifested as human, <coughs> sometimes animal, sometimes like, like teacher, sometimes like special guru, or sometimes baker or sometimes even manifest as enemy, or king, or father, or mother. There are many, many Buddhas, the Bodhisattvas have, uh, when they achieve that goal, freedom, perfect. But then they go, they don't need to worry about their own. The main goal is the out of love and compassion, have to come in the earth, or in the samsara, and what kind of things to do, then they have millions and millions, or, uncount, or the countless kind of purpose. So therefore they come to on the earth and a different manifestation. So therefore uh, some of them born as the uh, uh, or women or teacher or purpose or something. Some of special beings then we call them the reincarnation. But the reincarnation which we say is some special kind of lamas, or gurus, and Tibetan custom, right? All those are the reincarnation, but also they are out there, you don't know anything, or maybe it looks like fool, fool just the stupid dumb one looks like manifest, actually, actually Buddhisattva could be. Or sometimes a wrathful, or a person who is a powerful angry with looks like acting some kind of two certain people need some kind of wrathful situation or something like that also, or there are so many things. Or uh, sometimes Buddhas, Bodhisattvas are uh, reincarnate or manifested to others as a form of even dogs. Yesterday I was talking to one of my uh, friends who, who was interested, what about this Buddhist karma and all these things, Buddha, how can be this? And that? They have some kind of questions. I was talking one of these, the, you already know, I many times taught the, um, uh, I, uh, the Asanga's story, the female dog, right? Or oh, that, that is the, for example, sometimes Buddha Madriya, or oh, they come to, in order to have to Asanga, to, uh, then, uh, as a form of dog, yeah? Do you remember? 
Well, maybe some of them, then I will tell just quickly, okay? <laughs> and then, then <laughs> legend or story in the, from coming from Sutra. So anyway, this is the uh, Asanga, which is the one after Buddha passed, and uh, after 900 years after, then Mahayana Buddhism almost disappeared in India. And that time, uh, Asanga's mother wanted to Mahayana survive and spread in, in the uh, earth so strongly. So therefore, she had uh, two, two different fathers. She had two children, one's Asanga, one's Pasubandhu. Well, Asanga, when at that time, Indian or uh, ancient system, what is a father's job? The son takes that job, right? Father is shepherd or whatever you know, the tax job. But then Asanga, when young, when he one day asked her to mother, what is my father's job? So mother says, I didn't give you your birth for take your father's job. <laughs> your job is, and then he, she taught this, maybe starting learning Mayana Buddhism in this area, and pure Mayana Buddhism, as Buddha taught, wanted to spread. And this is your job. It's a huge job, right? As long as you grown up, then find how can I do this? Ne? Or is anyone you thinking that actually that time the Buddha Maitreya uh, in the past, the Manjushri, Maitreya, those are the main disciple of the uh, Buddha. Maya not teaching Buddhist sattva, but there are some the eight Buddhist sattva, or many, many Buddhist sattva. Among them, these, uh, these are the great ones. So therefore he think maybe Buddha Maitreya uh, right now, historically, in uh, Tushita heaven, he was, uh, he will be there, he is there. So therefore, I, if I have vision, him, direct vision, direct relation, then I can ask all these teachings, he will, can, he can give me all pure Mayana teaching. So that is the, his understand at that time. So therefore, then he has tried to <coughs> direct vision or to have that material. So therefore, pre preparation, purification, ritual, sadhana, to uh, seeing the material. So he did the, uh, he went to isolated place. So three years retreat. Three years retreat, right? And then he went there three years retreat. Three years didn't do anything. Not to see nothing, nothing happened to him. So therefore, he tired, he tired, he come out, and, the, and then on the road, the old, old man who is the, with the string, uh, they made out the garden string. And on the big rock, on the rock, he was doing this, this string, like this way, back and forth. And then Asanga asked, what are you doing, old man? Oh, I try to cut this mark. Okay, that is what he said. So then Asanga said, how oh, this is this old, old man try to cut this huge rock, hard rock, with the, the cotton string. It looks like impossible, but he has courage like this. So I, I have no courage. Three years, I better to go back more. So he got courage from that. So he went to another three years. Us. Then another three years when he went, then again nothing happened. And then he came out, or then if, I think this is, or then if somewhere in a rock, big rock, and then from rock, some coming with water dripping. Little dripping, you know, little bit dripping, dripping, and years dripping. And underneath huge rock, huge rock has the big hole by water made, big hole down, big hole. Then he was go there or looking there. Oh, this is the water is soft. It comes from time to a little dripping. Yet it makes this hard rock deep and hole like this. This is in continue if you do effort uh, like that. Uh, I will be able to succeed. I better to go back again. He went. <laughs> okay. The next one is that now six years, right? The next year, I think, and then he said, uh, and coming after three years, same thing have not happened. You know? 
Uh, so he saw on the road, on the way, somewhere, uh, the rock, uh, somewhere a mountain area, in the rock, and then there is a little bird nest under the rock. And uh, apparently, the Lord bought a huge rock and dig a little hole, and he has a bird nest. And he looked there, and you know, this bird uh, going in, coming out. At, uh, you know, bird only feed the little baby. They go in, in, out. So that made this outside rock is really smooth, soft, smooth, shiny. So when he, when he think about that again, that rock impossible makes smooth, shiny by bird feather. Bird feather is most soft, right? Very, very soft thing. But when you're wrapping back and forth long, and, and that way, is this, the rock is also smooth. So that made him again, again, courage. So another three years went <laughs> there. Now this is it, yeah. So then after that, after that, now 12 years, I think. And then after that, uh, after 12 years, then he come out and he completely exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> And then you go out, then, and then you see on the road there is the uh, dog, female dog, uh, which is the bottom part of it injured with a large worm, completely eating the worm by worms. Yet the upper part try to bake some food. That kind of pretty dog he saw. And when he saw that, Asanga got great, great compassion, love, to that dog, he want to save this dog. Now it's completely he want to like that way. So then, how to save? And then when you try to save, the first this worm, worm to separate from his, that his body. So th he doesn't want to kill the worms. Killing the worms, saving the dog, that's not good. <laughs> so therefore, both of them wanting to save. So therefore, how to save, and then he think on, thinking that well, finally he found all oh, bad things is flesh from his the thigh, cut piece of flesh, a uh, big piece of flesh, and then put that in, in front, and the worm to remove from dog to this flesh, and the worms will not die right away, and the dog will be free. So that is the best solution he saw. So therefore, then of course it is difficult to cut his flesh, but his flesh cut there, and then he try to remove. And then when you remove, you know, worms are very delicate. Our finger is so rough. So try to finger to, then worms will crack. So that is no good. So what to do then? And finally, the best thing is he thinks his tongue is soft, smooth, so lick that uh, <laughs> there and the worm to lick with his tongue and put in the flesh. That is his solution, thinking that way. So then he tried to do that, and then try to stretch out his tongue, and then stretch out or stick, yeah? So then, uh, when you, maybe he close his eyes, I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 of course, we, we think naturally we close, because this is, Thing. Okay, anyway, that's my addition because text doesn't say. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so th and then he was uh, touching to the tongue, certainly touched to the ground. And then he opened the, uh, his eyes, certainly there are no dog, certainly Buddha material right there. And he saw directly vision, what he wants, really vision there. So that is the name. Uh, with the material vision. And from there, and, oh, about 50 years, and he wanted to, able to power of material, able to get to see the heaven, and then he started, of course, 50 years of human uh, cycle, but the, uh, the head catching is the, to see the heaven, they own <coughs> the, maybe on one morning, but the, 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 the link is our humans, you know, or 50 years about something. So he was there and, and then to receiving all my teachings 
And after that, he came to earth. Present. When he came to earth, holy Dharma present also. The material what he given, they are called nowadays five books. Abhi Samaya Alangala, Buddha Alangala, there are five books like now available from Sanskrit to translate into Tibetan. We have those things. So these are material written and Asanga brought that into the earth and explained or some of them written commentaries, etc. So valuable. So anyway, that is the Patrick James as present to brought to the earth. So that is then after that Asanga wrote huge volumes, volumes of the, his own writing and commentaries on those and a great great Mayana or the open record. So anyway, that is Asanga's story. So there you see this dog. Uh, when he see dog, suddenly he says, Papa Tuchi is Chung. Papa means you are a great being. Tuchi is Chung. Tuchi means kindness. Chung is really small. <laughs> uh, he, he t- 12, 12 years he tried, didn't show, so he a little bit upset to kind of <laughs> Papa, you are. Kind, small kind, you have small kind, you are kindness or something, whatever he taught that. <laughs> and then Matthias said, no, no, I was all the time with you, but your obstacle, mental obstacle, you not see me uh, directly. So that means when he saw the old man doing this, that is also material. Or water leaping, dripping, that also material thing. And then the birds, and then the back and forth doing that also uh, five uh, material thing. And finally dog is also material. But then when he sees the effort of cutting the sacrifice and cutting the um, flag and this great uh, love and compassion, that is huge merit virtue. That clean, purified his mental obstacle. Obstacle which is not able to see any Buddha's life or anything. So therefore you see some strange things, so therefore all the obstacles got out, so now you are able to see me because power of your love and compassion. So that is happened. So therefore I am trying to find this the Buddha, you can manifest all kinds of things as a dog or yeah, or old man, etc. So there are, in the life of Buddha also, there are fish and many, many different things you have. So they were that kind of thing, you see, they are not by power of the impure karma and delusion, not made that. They, they are love, perfect love and compassion and wisdom cause, and certainly whatever they want to freely to manifest it. So that kind of thing, Sometimes born and like to take birth, mother and father, and ordinary like ordinary people uh, try to start in learning, and you do like Shakyamuni did, like print, and then did hardship, etc. Or like similar like that way. Or they so therefore that kind of you know, rebirth is called that <coughs> I will call reincarnation. So therefore special kind of rebirth with the choices, free, free rebirth. Okay. All right, that, that is the, uh, oh, now we five minutes passed. All right, that's enough. Okay, we'll stop there. All right, thank you.